a lost civilization. Archaeologists have discovered a huge ancient city hidden underground in Mexico, which may give a better understanding of the Maya civilization. Something eerie is brewing beneath the turquoise waters of the Gulf of Mexico. What started as a routine geological survey has now snowballed into one of the most mystifying discoveries ever recorded in the region. At first glance, it looked like just another deep sea anomaly, just another blip on a sonar screen. But when researchers investigated further, what they found shook them to their core. Layers of sediment hiding strange, ancient formations, unexplainable heat signatures radiating from the seafloor, and worst of all, a structure so unnatural, so out of place, that even veteran geologists are left questioning everything they thought they knew. In this video, we'll dive deep, literally and figuratively, into what's been uncovered in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll explore the baffling geological features, dissect the science behind the discovery, and uncover the haunting possibilities this finding could mean not just for the Gulf, but for Earth's past and its future. But before we go any further, ask yourself this. What if the Gulf of Mexico has been hiding something much older and much more dangerous than we ever imagined? An ancient formation hidden beneath the waves. When scientists from a marine research team began analyzing sonar data from a stretch of seabed near the Sigsby Deep, they weren't expecting anything more than sediment layers and typical tectonic activity. But what emerged on the scans defied conventional logic. Beneath thousands of feet of water and mud, they detected a perfectly symmetrical dome-shaped structure, unusual in its shape and composition. It wasn't volcanic, it wasn't sedimentary, and it didn't match any known underwater formation in the Gulf. So what is it? Some researchers speculate it could be a collapsed salt dome, but others argue that it's far too geometric, too deliberate to be a product of natural forces. Could this be an ancient impact crater from a meteorite? Or worse, something not yet classified by modern geology. And here's the terrifying part. Preliminary sampling from the site revealed anomalies in magnetic fields, suggesting high concentrations of materials usually found in asteroid remnants. But that's not all. Trace radioactive elements were found embedded within layers of the seafloor. What could possibly explain that? Even more compelling are the results from core sampling taken from the site. As researchers drilled deeper into the dome structure, they encountered layers of compressed crystalline rock, a type of formation rarely seen outside of high-pressure environments. The crystalline pattern bore striking similarities to shocked quartz, a telltale indicator of an ancient meteorite impact. Yet, the isotopic signature of these samples doesn't quite match typical impact sites cataloged around the globe, raising a new wave of questions. Could this site represent a different class of extraterrestrial impact, perhaps one we haven't encountered before? Furthermore, sonar mapping of the surrounding seabed showed concentric rings extending from the dome, almost like ripples frozen in time. This radial pattern mirrors what we often observe in terrestrial crater sites caused by large-scale impacts. But if this truly is an impact site, where is the corresponding ejecta layer? Where are the telltale geological scars that such an event would normally leave across the region? To complicate matters further, sediment age analysis suggests that the formation may predate most known regional geological structures. Some estimates even place it between 50 and 80 million years old, potentially aligning it with lesser known extinction events during the Paleocene. Could this mysterious dome have played a role in one of Earth's forgotten extinction chapters? A catastrophe lost to time? These findings, while preliminary, have already ignited intense debates in scientific communities. As more data comes in, the picture becomes even murkier. 
and more intriguing. The deeper we look, the more we realize that the Gulf of Mexico may be holding secrets far beyond our current understanding. Unusual heat signatures and a subsurface pulse. The deeper the analysis went, the stranger the readings became. Thermal imaging picked up localized heat anomalies radiating from beneath the structure as if something deep within the crust was still active. But there's no known volcanic activity in this region, no magma chambers, no tectonic faults. So, where is the heat coming from? The thermal readings were not just scattered. They formed a disturbing pattern. Clusters of high temperature zones appeared to pulse intermittently, as though responding to some unseen force beneath the seafloor. It was almost rhythmic, suggesting not just geological movement, but potentially some form of deep crustal pressure buildup. Some of the sensors even recorded low-frequency tremors that didn't register on standard seismic monitoring system, like ghost signal from something ancient stirring beneath the surface. Some researchers fear this could be evidence of an ancient geothermal vent system that has reawakened, or worse, a previously undiscovered fault line. If that's true, the consequences could be catastrophic. Seafloor instability in this region could trigger undersea landslides, tsunamis, or worse, methane release events. Methane hydrates, frozen compounds trapped within the sediments, are known to exist along continental shelves. If destabilized by heat or seismic activity, they could release vast amounts of methane gas in a sudden surge, disrupting marine ecosystems and accelerating climate change. Worse yet, a sudden explosive release of methane could trigger a massive shockwave impacting coastlines across the Gulf. Some experts are now drawing eerie parallels to the Storega Slide, a prehistoric underwater landslide off the coast of Norway that unleashed a devastating tsunami across northern Europe. Could something similar be lurking beneath the Gulf of Mexico? Could the Gulf be sitting atop a geological time bomb, silently ticking beneath the waves, waiting for just the right trigger to unleash a disaster no one saw coming? Signs of a lost civilization or just nature's oddity? Then came an even more disturbing twist. Submersible cameras sent to the site captured footage of bizarre, carved-looking grooves on the structure's surface. Grooves that some claim resemble primitive markings or toolwork. These strange indentations aren't random. They appear to follow patterns, intersecting at deliberate angles and forming symmetrical sequences that seem too precise to be the result of mere erosion or tectonic pressure. Could it be that this structure wasn't formed by natural forces at all? Is it possible that what lies beneath the gulf is not just geological, but archaeological. While mainstream experts remain skeptical, urging caution, and citing the potential for pareidolia, a psychological tendency to perceive patterns where none exist, fringe researchers have taken a different stance. They argue that these grooves and shapes are too intricate, too intentional to be dismissed as coincidence. Some have even pointed out that certain motifs etched into the surface resemble proto-writing symbols or early forms of iconography known in ancient cultures. More intriguingly, these markings bear a striking resemblance to pre-Columbian symbology from Mesoamerican cultures such as the Olmec, the Maya, and the Zapotec. The resemblance is subtle yet undeniable. Spiral patterns, stepped motifs, and stylized animal form, symbols often associated with ritual or sacred architecture. The implications are profound. Could this be a missing piece of an ancient world that predates our known history? Some have gone further, suggesting a connection to mythological accounts of sunken cities, echoes of Atlantis, Lemuria, or the Aztec legend of Aztlan. Could it be that this site is a remnant of a forgotten chapter of human civilization, wiped out by time, tectonics, or cataclysm? If so, the discovery beneath the gulf might not just rewrite textbooks, it could redefine everything we think we know about our planet's ancient past. Geological anomalies that defy current models. But even if the structure isn't artificial, its presence alone is enough to rewrite textbooks. Rock samples retrieved from the area revealed an unusual blend of minerals, some of which aren't commonly found in Gulf Basin geology. In fact, a few of these minerals are typically associated with high-pressure events like deep mantle eruptions or asteroid impacts. One mineral 
In particular, ringwoodite, caught researchers off guard, found deep within the Earth's mantle, or in meteorite impacts, ringwoodite's presence here raises serious questions. This mineral forms only under intense pressure conditions exceeding 20 gigapascals, equivalent to depths of over 500 kilometers below the surface. Yet here it is, resting in a layer of seabed sediment scarcely a few kilometers beneath the Gulf floor. How did it end up in a relatively shallow part of the ocean floor? Could it be that a long forgotten cataclysmic event shaped the entire Gulf region thousands of years ago? An event we've never even recorded in our geologic timeline. Some geologists have proposed a theory, a massive subterranean upwelling, a mantle plume that breached the lithosphere long before the current continental plates took their modern form. Others point to evidence of shock metamorphism in the surrounding rock strata, patterns typically seen only in regions struck by large asteroid impacts. Interestingly, geochemical analysis also showed traces of woostite, periclase, and majorite garnet, which, like ringwoodite, are high-pressure minerals typically inaccessible in crustal environment. The chemical signatures further complicate the puzzle. They don't match any known volcanic system in the region. In fact, isotopic ratios suggest that some of the materials may have come from a completely different tectonic origin, possibly remnants of an ancient subduction zone buried deep beneath today's Gulf Basin. If so, this would imply that the geologic history of the Gulf is far more violent and dynamic than previously believed, hinting at hidden tectonic cycles or even a previously unknown planetary scale collision event. And that's just the beginning. The broader implications for Earth's history. As experts race to understand the nature of this anomaly, the broader implications are beginning to set in. If this structure is the result of an asteroid impact, it could change our understanding of mass extinction events. If it's geothermal in nature, it could reshape energy exploration models. And if, just if, it is archaeological, then we might be on the verge of discovering a civilization that existed before our written history even began. One researcher put it bluntly, this isn't just a blip on a radar. This could be the Rosetta Stone of Earth's hidden past. But here's the real question. How much do we truly know about what lies beneath us? And what if this is just the beginning? Geologists and planetary scientists have long suspected that Earth still holds untold secrets deep beneath its surface, layers of geological history that predate humanity by hundreds of millions of years. But this discovery, if confirmed, could act as a keystone, connecting multiple scientific disciplines, geophysics, archaeology, climatology, and even astrobiology. If it's an ancient volcanic system, for example, it might suggest that the region was once far more geologically active than previously thought, perhaps even tied to continental shifts or mantle plumes that shaped entire landscapes. If it's an impact crater, the implications stretch into space science and planetary defense. Could a past collision have triggered a mass extinction event that we've previously overlooked? And if the anomaly carries signs of intelligent design, structured geometry, materials not native to the region, or tool markings, it might redefine human history altogether. Could we be looking at the remnants of a pre-Ice Age civilization, one that survived or was erased by cataclysmic geological forces? In any case, one thing is certain. Whatever lies beneath may not just reshape our understanding of the Grand Canyon, it might rewrite the history of the Earth itself. The Gulf of Mexico has always been a region of mystery and wonder, home to hurricanes, oil reserves, and now something far more perplexing. As the investigation continues, one thing is certain. Geologists, archaeologists, and scientists alike are rethinking everything they thought they knew. For decades, this vast marine basin has been a hotbed of geological activity, shaped by tectonic shifts, ancient sea level changes, and the remnants of prehistoric ecosystems buried beneath layers of sediment. But the recent discovery has introduced an entirely new dimension, one that defies easy classification. Initial sonar scans suggested an unusual formation beneath the seabed, too symmetrical to be natural, too irregular to be man-made by modern standards. 
Some have speculated it could be a collapsed volcanic caldera. Others suggest a meteor impact site, while a few daring voices hint at submerged archaeological structures lost to time. What makes this discovery particularly intriguing is its location, tucked between some of the richest fossil beds and petroleum deposits in the Western Hemisphere. Could this formation be linked to a broader geological story we've yet to fully comprehend? Or could it be evidence of an ancient civilization wiped out by rising seas or cataclysmic forces? Even marine biologists are taking note as new species are being found in and around the anomaly. Creatures adapted to strange thermal gradients and mineral-rich waters that hint at geothermal vents deep below. Could these ecosystems be echoing life forms found near hydrothermal vents in the Pacific? Or are they something entirely new? And as new layers are uncovered, the mystery only deepens. Are we on the verge of uncovering a missing chapter in Earth's story? Stay curious, and who knows what the Gulf of Mexico will reveal next? Because beneath the surface, the past is still speaking. If only we're willing to listen. Leave a comment below and tell us what part of this strange discovery fascinated you the most. Do you think this structure is the result of a cataclysmic event, a forgotten civilization, or something else entirely? We're eager to hear your thoughts and wild theories. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay tuned for more mind-blowing revelations and hidden stories from the depths of our world. And make sure to hit the bell icon so you don't miss what's coming next.